Hey guys, Cameron here with Emerson Property Management. Every week I bring you tools, tactics, strategies, lessons I've learned, things have helped me build up a sizable rent portfolio in about two years and now manage that portfolio. Today is part two, I'm talking about tile. Part one, if you guys didn't watch the video, go back um, uh, or the video link will be up here or here and watch, uh, I went over all the LVP, our luxury vinyl plank information. So if you guys are interested in that, I covered all that in the last video. And in this video, I want to spend uh, spend a little bit of time talking about the tile and how we picked out our tile. So I got to go over here to my my uh, trusted uh, spreadsheet because what I did, uh, like I said, if you watched the last video, I went to Lowe's, Home Depot, Foreign Decor, and I gathered a bunch of uh, information on tile, on LVP, and I put it together to, to figure out what we're going to use going forward. And like I said in the last video, I love using LVP on everywhere else in the house and then tile in the wet areas. So tile in your bathrooms and kitchens. And then, you know, I've had this question come up a few times about, hey, should we use a tile shower? Should we tile a shower and use a glass door or sliding glass door or whatever? That's gonna be personal preference. If you're doing like a really modern look and you're blowing up this, you know, this house, I say blowing up. If you're if you're doing a total rehab or renovation on this house and you're on a fifty, sixty thousand dollar rehab, probably ought to put a tile shower in there. See what the other comps are doing in the area, but the tub inserts are pretty cheap. They're just, they literally just insert in the tub. Um, you just go in there and they, you know, use some liquid nails and various other bits and pieces behind that to make sure the water's not gonna get in there and you're done. So the tub inserts are fairly easy. Um, they're a lot cheaper than tile, but tile will last you forever. As long as the tile doesn't go out of style and it's done properly, you guys won't be touching the tile. So. How did we select tile? In the last video, I was telling you about what, what items we look for when we go through our LVP. For tile, it's pretty simple. We have two things that we look for. We have a PEI rating and a grade. Now, some people, PEI and grade. Now, some people or some of these companies will not show you the PEI rating. Some will. Some will not show you the grade. Some will. And long story short, you guys can Google this and look it up, but the PEI rating basically shows a hardness or durability of it. And it's kind of, it's very, very similar with the grade. So the higher the number, the better and the, the more durable. So if you see a um, the ones that we pulled from Lowe's, Home Depot, and Foreign Decor all have between a three and a five. Now, five is the best. Three is, I mean, one's the worst. I think I don't even know if it goes down to one, but the range here for what I pulled was between three and five. Um, we look for four or five. I don't want any three, two, one. The four is when they start saying you can be used on commercial. Um, the three is mostly residential and uh, it will say fours. Okay, now you're getting into a little more high traffic areas but we like the four or five. If you can find something with a PE rating of four or five, you're gonna be usually good for these rental properties. Again, you can use a three, but the price difference between a three and a four is like sometimes negligible. Sometimes it's 20, 30 cents. So, or, or sometimes it's actually cheaper. So you got to be careful on what you're what you're looking at here when you're pulling some of these things. So the PEI is the first and the grade, grade is the, the second thing. And the grade is the same scale zero to five. Now, you'll have to, again, you'll have to look because some of these companies do this on purpose so you can't compare apples to apples. They won't share the grade with you, but they'll share the PEI. They won't share the PEI, but they'll show, share the grade. So just make sure you know what you're doing. And again, grades the same way. We want four or five. Five's the best. If you can find a good five, use a five. Stay away from the one twos and uh, totally, okay? Which one did we go with? So we have decided to use the, kind of wrote right in the middle here. Um, well, let me do this. Four, four, five, four, four, five. So I wrote that down there so you guys could see. We want to go four or five for the PEI and for the grape. And what did we use? We used Forum Ivory. Yeah, I wish I could spell like I used to. And this this is a floor and decor product. And it is one, two, three zeros. 
four, seven, one, one, seven. Okay, so this is a floor. I don't have enough room to write flora and decor, but it's forum ivory, and here's the SKU number. It's one triple zero four seven one one seven. Just Google forum ivory. Now, we like, again, just similar, I was talking to you about um, how we use white on the doors, trims, and baseboards. We use a beige on the wall, and then we use a gray, a medium gray, not too light, not too dark, LVP. We use a beige, kind of off beige, with a little texture in it, uh, tile. And that just gives it a little bit of a design, but not too much, because you know the old um, ceramic tiles that are 12 by 12 that have no, they're just beige. They don't have any texture, any design to them. They kind of look like shit. But there's they were installed in houses 50 years ago. Yeah, they're great. They're durable, but they don't look that great. So this tile, this form ivory, is a 12 by 24 tile. So it's more like rectangular shaped. And it's got a little texture in it, so you don't see uh, as much dirt. And this one has a PEI rating of 5. And right now, floor and decor, it's $1.99 a square foot. So two bucks a square foot. And you guys will see, there's some cheaper ones on here. I've got the whole list. And again, I mentioned this in the last video. I don't know what it is, but L Home Depot has a very shitty tile selection as well. I look through all their tiles. Now, you might get dissuaded because you go, oh my God, Home Depot has this Metro Sand that's $1.45 a square foot. That's cheaper, Cameron, than the $1.99 Forum Ivory that you have. However, the grade on that is one. The worst, the, 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 the softest, the least durable, the, least, the, the, the cheapest that you can have. It's got a grade of one and a PEI rating of three. It is cheapest shit you can buy. So, and they've got, the, the worst part is they've got a couple others in here at 169 and 199 that still have a PEI rating of three and a grade of one. So for the same price, you can go to Floor and Decor and get this product right here for $199 with a grade with a PEI rating of five. Now, I don't really care what y'all use. Doesn't matter to me. But if you go to one of our properties and I, you know, I can't control what the owners do either. If you're an owner listening to this, I don't have any control over that, but these are the products that we're using. And I'm trying to do this to educate owners. You as an owner, whether you're a, a, you know an owner with us or not, but don't get fooled by just because it's Lowe's or Home Depot you're going in there. Home Depot, that's strike. That's two strikes for them for for products with tile and with LVP. They were both garbage. So be cognizant of that when you guys are looking for it. And if you guys are renting an Emerson property, and we've made the improvements over time, you know, if a property has good carpet in it, we're going to keep it. But once that carpet gets worn you're going to see this product come in, this LVP. And if you guys buy, you know, a few hundred square feet extra, say three, four, 500 square feet extra of whatever flooring you're used, if you ever have any issues, you can swap it out. Or the next property, say you want to do the bathroom, the old tile's still in there, but it's okay. You, you have that same flooring to use. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, guys, let me know. If it wasn't, let me know. And um, if you guys want, uh, you know, I'll share with you this spreadsheet I pulled together. But again, floor and decor for the tile and then lows for the LVP. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or, or uh, call, text, or just comment below. That's the best. And like us, subscribe if, if you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next week. Cheers.